This is about Willie. My kid brother, Willie. My mother always said it's nice when brothers like each other, and we did, Willie and I, we liked each other. And never more than that summer. That's how the family always referred to it as that summer. We could have called it the summer of the river, or the summer of innocence, or the end of innocence, or Willie's summer, but we didn't. We just called it that summer. Whenever I think of Willie, I see him that summer, lying by the river bank, singing the way he did, aimlessly, nothing you'd ever heard before. He had about him the air of the world in the morning, like everything else, more precious because it couldn't last. Cleaned up this yard. Always skittering off someplace. Dad, what about the riverbank? Ah, oh, it's no worse than it was last year. Willie says it's cutting in under, making a cave. He says it's dug into here. It's driven in a stick. Tell well, him not to worry about it. Willie! Too late for that. Dad! Dad! You're I... letting the flies in the house. I wanted to talk to you about this letter from Willie's teacher. She says this is such an important summer for Willie. Well, what's she know about that? She's never had any kids. I don't want some old spinster telling me how to raise my kids. Either go in or come out. Willie! Willie says next flood tide it may dig in under all the way to our cellar. <laughs> what's this, John? Soap carving Willie's been doing some concert. What's it supposed to be? Venus de Milo. Doesn't look like any woman I ever had anything to do with. She's flat across here. Well, Willie's a little self-conscious about women just now. The original don't speak until you're spoken to, kid. Sometime he's going to start a conversation with me, and I'm going to drop dead as shock. Always skittering away from me. Willie! Dad, don't ball him out again. Wait a minute. Who are you talking to? OK, I'm sorry. But don't yell at him. Why let the kid know you resent him? What do you mean by that? I send my son to college, he comes back a smart aleck, no respect for his parents. Now, Dad, take it easy. I'm not trying to undermine your authority. You I'm said just... I resented my own kid. Do you think once you shut your bedroom door, nobody can hear what you and Mom say? What did you hear? I never said okay, anything... Okay, let's at... forget it. I'm sorry I mentioned it, but please don't yell at Willie. Harry! Harry! Why don't you go down to the shed? You know he can't hear with the motors. Every Sunday and you know he can't hear. Harry! What's the matter? You were going to take me for a ride in the car. I'm making something. He's making something. I got all dressed up and I want to go for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I want to show Bessie, you something. It's a Not too long. You feel that? 
Well, someday you're gonna, and someday you're gonna walk again, too. You don't hold your breath till then. Mom says God would see that you walked again. Well, Willie, Mom believes that. Huh. One day I'm gonna be a doctor. And when I'm a doctor, I'm gonna make you walk again. Thanks, Willie. Yesterday you were gonna be a jet pilot. Yeah, I gotta stop changing my mind. What are you gonna be, Don, when you get through college? Well, I may never get back to college, Willie. That'll send you, won't he? Dad never paid anything for me at college, Willie. I had that basketball scholarship and I worked, waiting on tables, a janitor in the building. And how will you go next Well, year? there may be a blind student coming to college next year. Needs someone to read his, his books to him. That helped pay for a lot of it. And when I go, I guess I'll have to work too, won't I? I guess so. Well, maybe I'd better not be a doctor then. You'd be whatever you want to be, Willie. What's Harry making in your shift? Oh, he's fixing a thing. What do you mean a thing? A thing is put on the fence you know, for me, some chickens. Trust that, they'll be electrocuted. It's a bad idea. Oh, we can talk to Harry out of it. No, yeah. Harry's mad too. He left the garage door open one night. That means his chickens got in and messed all over his car. <laughs> Sacrilege. Hey, come on! Yeah. Looking at the river now, it seemed like it's come down the valley the way it does. Cut in here, rise so it's just about there. When it's just about there, when it rained so hard last fall. Just about. Willie? Hey, Willie. Yeah? What are you going to do with this summer? myself 20 times a day, shoot at the basket, bang. You see Teresa, too, eh? I hope it'll be a good summer for you, Willie. I don't want to hear any more about that again. All the years we didn't marry, and you never really listened to me. It's about the boys. The oh, boys, the boys. That's all we ever Tom, thought about. keep the your boys. voice down. Please keep your voice down. That was the first day of summer, Willie's important summer. I can still see him lying there, stretched out in the tall grass, his small body already a kind of barrier between the river and the house. You ought to do something this summer, Willie. Something constructive. You ought to concentrate on forming some good habits. Keeping your room clean. Reading some good books I'll get for you. I remember when I was little, my mother kept the chart for me. Used to hang right here in this kitchen. And she filled it with gold stars when I did certain things each day. We might do something like that. At the end of summer, you'd have this chart all filled with gold stars. Okay, Mom. Better call your father again. Tell him supper's ready. I made Dad a cigarette lighter. He's got a cigarette lighter. Oh, I know. This one's to keep by the living room. Why, it's chair. That's nice. If you can put this nut on this bolt, I can get you a job down at the shop where I work. Huh? There's another guy down there like you. All he has to do is sit there and put these nuts on these bolts all day long. But the boss doesn't want to give it to anyone who's not going to hang around for at least a year. Well, thanks, Harry, but I want to get back to college. Well, how are you going to work it? I'm waiting to hear. I may read to a blind student and a couple other things. Oh, well, okay. Well, just in case it doesn't come through, this is something to do. You know, you could take care of yourself the rest of your life doing this. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's all this yelling about chow, huh? Where is it? What's this jelly?
junk on the supper table. It's a present Willie made for you. Well, what is it? I guess it's a piece of junk. Oh, well, now, I I didn't know it was something for me. It's a cigarette lighter. <laughs> oh, how's it work? Well, you put a match in this end here, and you push down on this end here, and it lights. <laughs> Doesn't seem to make sense. You have to put a match in it first. It's simpler to just uh, strike a match on the box. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. Well, if that doesn't want it, I'll take it. Well, I didn't say I didn't want it. Only said it seemed kind of a senseless thing. Yeah. You watch out. Willie. See, it's mine. Willie made it for me, and I'm going to keep it. It's little enough I get around this house. Tom. Tom, I'd like to say grace. Dear Lord, we thank thee for what we are about to receive. We thank thee for this home, this refuge from the world's injury, the world's terror, doubt, and division. May it ever remain so, a place of peace. Amen. You think the fence going to work, Harry? Why, sure. Why, all this ridiculous effort and cunning given to the slaughter of a bunch of stupid chickens. I'm not killing any chickens. We're just charging the fence. If farm easy okay. chickens get killed trying to get through it, well, that's... Parmesi's fault for not keeping them penned up. Almost an act of God. Eh? Donald. Where are you going? To look at my markers to see how much the river rose. Sit down. Stop worrying about it. Well, maybe he will when you start. Oh, here we go again. His theme song. All right, so it is. What are we going to do about the river? Children, when we quarrel, it's like pouring Dad, what are we going to do? Oh, wait and see. Famous last system. words. Harry? Don't look at me. I'm I'm only the brother-in-law around here. I just pay rent. And all we're asking for is a little advice. Advice? Okay. It needs a retaining wall. It's a heavy masonry wall built from the bottom up so when the river cuts under, it'll hit concrete, not dirt. See? Yeah. Well, now we're getting somewhere. How much will it cost? Well, two, three thousand dollars. The state should pay for it. Why? Because when they put those drains under the highway up the river, the river overflows. Never used to. You've written them. I didn't get around to it. I'll write my assemblyman tomorrow. What's his name? If you wait for that, it may be too late. Who's got two or three thousand dollars for that? Well, it'll hurt. But Who I would don't... it hurt? Who would have to pay for it? I won't pay a dime for something like a wall. You think I work from nine to five every day at a job? I hate to put up what I say for a wall. Now, Ruthie, take it easy. Now, Harry and I have got the car to pay for yet. We're saving for our own house. We've all got to work together on this. Now, children, we must remember we are God's children, and he will take care of us forever and ever. Remember the fallen sparrow. Will God take care of the chicken? Anybody got an answer for that one? Donald, please. Apologize to your mother. I hope the fence doesn't work. If you tell them, I don't want you to see those Parmesis anymore. You keep away from them, from Teresa. Why? Boy, your age with a, you know, the ragged little girl calling after them all day. Dirty, the whole bunch of them. Poor. They could be poor without being sloppy. That's about as hard as being beautiful without being dumb. It takes extra effort. Oh, now, cut it out. Don. Oh, now, come on, honey. Apologize to your mother. And turn that kid loose. You know what you're turning them into? A male nurse. All the time you were laid up, waiting on your hand and foot, and still doing it. Turn them loose. And apologize to your mother. I think she's real nice. Well, girls are dope. You'll find one soon, isn't You'll have a girl. I'm never gonna get married. Why? Well, maybe. If you like the Parmesan, they're all the time laughing together and kissing. They look like they're having fun. Well, it can be like that. I've never seen Mom and Dad kiss. Well, well, yeah. Well, you and me making a bargain never to get married. <laughs> oh, no. Wait till you get a little older. I'm 10 now. Hey, has, uh, has that ever talked to you about, um... About what? About something they call the facts of life? Oh, sure. I know all about them. You do? Sure. 
I mustn't smoke or drink until I'm 21. Well, I still don't think I want to get married. It's got to be like Mom and Dad. Or Ruth and Harry. Well, that little calm, easy kid, he wants to marry his mother. What a nutty idea. Hey, be careful. It may be slippery over there. This river is long as the Mississippi. Long shot. How far could you get on it? On a raft. What are you thinking of? Do you ever think about running away? Well, I used to collect stuff in the barn for that purpose. Only trouble was when I ran, I forgot it, so I got hungry and had to come back home. I think if I ran away, Yay! I'd take a can of peas. $2,000. $2,000, really? That's 37 saved in the bank. You thinking of Harry's retaining wall for the river? Doesn't Dad have $2,000? I guess so, but he doesn't want to spend it on the wall. Last year, Mrs. Parmese bought Mr. Parmese a birthday present. She sold a pint of her blood to buy it. Teresa told me about it. A nice present. But I guess it didn't cost two thousand dollars. Willie! Willie! loves this house almost the way I do, the way you never have. How can you say that? I suppose it's being my mother's house and her mother's before that makes the difference. The things I've given up so that we could go on living here. Chances to move to other cities, better jobs, and you say I don't like it. I saw you kick it once. What? What are you talking about? Kick a house? You just don't seem to be happy here anymore. Well, what have I got to be happy about? A son who's probably going to be a burden the rest of his life. His being a burden is not entirely his fault. Don't you bring that up again. If you had had that car fixed when the mechanic... I don't want to hear about that again. Happy. Everybody sits around this house if they're afraid of me. When I come home, nobody wants to talk to me. That's because you're reading the papers all the time. I read the papers because no one will talk to me. Oh, they're willing to sit around the house, spend my money, live, it's, eat my food, and... It's the papers. All right. We'll see. I won't read the papers today. 
Now, just sit. We'll see. Mom? Yes, Ruthie? Mom, you found me in back. You have such a lovely figure, Ruthie. Thanks, Mom. Ruthie, your father's on the porch. Why don't you go out and talk to him like a good girl? What shall I say to him? Just anything. Come on, dear. Oh, it's hot. 92 in the shade. And here's Ruthie. You. 92 in the shade. Hot. You have finished the paper? I haven't started the paper. I'm just sitting. Yes, that's a good idea. This is the hottest July on record. Do you remember how to win that? No. Do you, Donald? Uh, a couple of summers ago when I was working on the road, it seemed hotter. I don't think it was. Well, this seems cooler. It's always cooler, just sitting. In here? Oh, no, I'm just laying the timbers together to see what more timbers I need. I'll take it down the river and build it there. I see. Mom! Mom, where are the clothespins? In the shed, dear. Oh, it's good. Hold up, hold up a whole lot. Are you thinking of planning a long trip like Huck Finn? Oh, no, I'm just going to use the raft to go back and forth. Back and forth where? Back and forth across the river to get stones. Stones? Yeah, stones for the riverbank. I'm going to build a wall. Is it okay? Sure, well, it is okay. Do you suppose maybe you could... Sure, uh, Willie. I'll paddle the raft. If you can build it, I'll paddle it. And between the two of us, maybe we can even build a wall. Huh? Sure we can! <laughs> Willie, turn off the power of the fence in the shed. You know which one it is? Look. Hurry! 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 Lucy! She leaned up against the fence. Right? Lucy! Scratch up against the barbed wire. Lucy, you could have... I wish I had! Lucy! I wish I had! I wish I had! I wish I had! I wish I had! I wish I had. I don't know, Willie. I don't know. Is she all right? Oh, yeah. Willie. Uh, Willie, this wall, you know, it might not work. Yeah, I know. But first, I gotta build a raft. 
Even on August 2nd, his 11th birthday, stones. If only summer were as permanent as it seemed. Hey, Willie! How do you keep it up so long? I'm pooped. Time. She said that a few hours. Oh, you keep quiet and go have your puppy. Well, they have to take her away someplace. To a hospital or something. No, no, she'll have him in the barn or under the porch or someplace like that. You might keep an eye on her and watch the process. It'll be all right? Sure. A lady wouldn't mind? She'd be proud of him, though. Could they stop having a pup if she didn't want it? Why do you ask that? Could Mom and Dad have stopped me? Well, they wouldn't stop you, Willie, because they wanted you. Besides, it's a crime to stop a child. What put that idea in your head? Willie! Willie! Uh, we better knock off and get up to your birthday party, eh? Yeah. You run along and change. I'll move on up myself. Well, anyway, I'm glad they didn't stop me. Because if they did, I wouldn't be your brother. Willie! I thought you might like to pitch a few into me. Your brother and I used to do that in the evening sometimes. Well, I'm not good at pitching. Oh, I remember seeing you and your brother pitching to each other out here last summer. I haven't thrown a ball in a long time. Put it through the kitchen window. All right. You don't want to. It's all right. Hey, Willie. something just between you and me. And your mother has something for your birthday that she's going to give you herself. And this is just something between you and me. Hey! Now, I, uh... I wish it could be more. You know what I got for my birthday when I was your age? What? <laughs> Five-cent bag of candy. And I was glad to get it. Thanks. Oh, Willie, what have you been doing all day? He's building the wall. Started me. Ah, look, Willie. I've been asking around, and it's going to be a dry fall. There's nothing to worry about. And uh, next spring, the state will build that wall. Sure. Oh, there are lots of other things that you should be doing this summer. How many gold stars you got in your mother's chart? None. Beats me. If I'd made you build that wall, you'd be yelling and hollering because I don't want you to do it. You spend all your time on it. That's not the reason. Uh, uh, you better go and put a clean shirt on for supper. And say, find out if there's a good movie in town. We'll all go in and see it, eh? You think that's a proper way for a kid to spend his birthday? I don't know, dear. I'm going to change my shirt. He seems to enjoy it, and you encourage him in it. He doesn't enjoy it, and what can I do but encourage him? He knows that something's got to be done to save his home, and he's trying to do it. And even though it may be futile, it's more than anyone else around here is doing. Well, your father tells me this... My father. Donald, 
Your father loves you children. Everything he's done, he's done for you. Oh, Ma, how can you believe that? It hasn't been easy for him, working hard every day of his life, always expecting promotions and only getting raises. You no, know, back in the beginning of the summer, when he told me he'd never seen you and Dad kissing. We used to. We used to all the time. Oh, I think it should be now for Willie. Funny he should notice a thing like that. We used to. I'm sorry about that letter from the college. That would have been such a nice way to earn money. Reading to a blind boy. They're back. I told you they'd be back. The chickens. I told you they'd be back. In the garden. See? Harry, see them. Three white ones and that black one. Walk right through the fence. What's the matter, Pop? You won't turn the power on. Chickens in the garden. The chickens walk right through the fence into my garden. You watch when they go back to that fence. Wait till they hit that wire. Those chickens are ruining my garden. It's my garden. They're Let's trespassing. That's why Harry and I built the fence, and we had a right you to You better watch or you'll miss it. What's the matter? Your father's turned the collar on the fence. No! You be still. Please turn it off. You go back and sit down. You heard what I said. The black one's You go it. in there and wait. If you don't want to watch it, sit in the house. There she comes, the black one. Now, just watch when she hops on that wire. Now then, come on. Come on now. Just a little closer. Now then. Doesn't work. She walked right through. <laughs> Harry, your friend's done not work. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Where are you going? I had a right to. I had a right to. It's dead. You come back here. Put that down. Put it down. And wash your hands. Congratulations, you're now a family man. <laughs> Hi. Did you have a good day at work? Never a good day at work. Ruthie, your turn to do the dishes. Oh, just leave them, Mom. I'll do them later. Like a, like a puppy. They probably did. They're right under there. When were they born? They're being born right now. It's all finished. Yeah. Willie, there's five of them. You dirty, filthy thing. Rule. Lying under there and watching. Rule. This is Cut what you out, teach him to lie on his belly and watch this. Oh, you said that boy. You know what he was doing? Come in my house now. He teaches him these things. Come right in the house. Oh, you said it would be all right. You said. Willie. Willie. Willie, come back here. Willie. You sit around here teaching him everything that's dirty. Oh, stuff shut because... up, Willie. Willie. What the first time he learned what you've been teaching him is wrong. Willie. Willie. What's the matter? Willie's run off. I'm afraid he's run away. Why? 
Why? I don't know. Ruthie yelled at him. He's been planning to run away for weeks. For weeks he's been collecting stuff in the farm. Dad. We shouldn't have had another child. You said it would be company for our old age. But I'm too old to have the forbearance you need for a boy like that. Get along with you, Dad. That would explain. Will you forget it? Dad, cut it out. Did you help him collect all this junk? Don't look at him. You shut up. Map of the United States. Swiss family rug. Pair of pajamas. A can of pee. To whom it may concern. <laughs> My name is Willie Munson. I am... Ten years old. I run away from home. If I am found dead, please tell my brother, Don. And perhaps you'd better... Go on, go on. You wanted to read it. Perhaps you'd better tell my mother. Sincerely, Billy Monson. You did this. A boy that age doesn't turn against his parents unless someone shows him. All right, Mother. All right, Mother. He'll come back when he's hungry. And when he does, you leave him alone, do you hear? Leave him alone. He's our son, not yours. Our son. I hope he doesn't come back. Why should he come back to this house? Why should he come back to this two-bit selfishness and meanness? Why? You ought to know why. Sweet. Sweet. And have everything done for him like it's done for you. You ought to know why. Came back. Harry and Dad are out looking for you. Are you hungry? Well, then you'd better go up and tell Mom you're home. You got a worried sick. Ruthie? I'm sorry if I did something wrong. I know. Don told me it was all right. Well, I 
Well, I guess you've learned your lesson. Willie! Willie, Willie, please. Who says she's sorry about scolding you? Willie, look at me. Don't you believe me? Don't you trust me anymore? Sure. Well, anyway, I'm glad you came back. They're gone. And I didn't get very far. And I remember they didn't finish the wall. So I came back. ahead of the rising river, hoping there would be a letter. We would have another day, another hour. Thank you, John. Yeah? Here's the letter from the assemblyman. They're going to build a wall in the spring. He says the matter will be yeah, attended to. spring, but what about now? Well, it was supposed to be a dry fall. Have you been to the river to look today? No, and I'm not going to. Well, it's sucking in under. Under? And soon it'll be at the cellar, and then the house will begin to tremble. Well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing now, except get out, but there should have been a wall. There was a wall. You and Willie built a wall. It was no good. That it was enough. gone four days ago. There's no wall. It's a little pile of stones. It's a little pile of stones the kid gave a summer to. Don't look at me. I'm sorry. If you wanted the wall so much, why didn't you get off your tail and go down to Harry's shop and get a job? You could have earned 50 or 60 bucks a week. It's not much, but it adds up. You could have paid for that wall in a year. What do you got to say to that? in a box on the porch, so she keeps running away. You know Miss Kitlin, my new teacher? She says all this rain is in the equinox. It's a little late, but it has all the signs. How'd she like your essay? You mean the one about how I spent my summer? Yeah, 500 words. Well, we counted wrong. We only had 495. But she liked it, okay? Yeah. We had them read them aloud in class. One girl went to camp. A couple of kids went to camp. One dopey boy even went to Europe. I bet you were the only one to build a wall. We should have taken a picture of that wall. Nobody believed me in it. I spent my whole summer just building a wall. Now it's gone. Nothing left of all we did. I prayed it wouldn't rain. I prayed. Really? Really? You no, know, I never thought of it, but if I had gone down to Harry's shop to work, I could have earned enough to pay for our wall. But you didn't want to. You wanted to go back to college. You just wanted to pay for the car. And Dad loaned the money in the bank. Forgive me, Willie. Forgive us all. Willie. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go down to Harry's shop to work. But you don't want to. Oh, but I want to, Willie. I want to more than anything else I want in my life. I won't get much, but as Dad says it adds up. It's time for you to go to college. You'll go. And you'll be a doctor. Billy. 
Listen. I'm going to work because of you. And I will get this summer. Do you understand? Hey, get in the car! We're clear enough. We're going into town and stay. Right. I want you to understand, Willie. I want you to understand now. You better get your things. I already got mine. Hurry up, Ruth! We must be very careful of Ruthie. Tell Ruth to hurry up. Willie, run upstairs get... Normally get the puppy. We can't take the puppy. Ruthie! What's wrong with him? He's worn out. That's what's the matter with him. He's a kid and he's worn out. Keep him there. Ruth, what are you doing? Ruth! Yes, it is. You know what all the fun is? This one. Yeah, what happened to you? This was a pretty silly thing. Still, still the wall. Surely it was the most important thing you ever did in your life. <laughs>
The Goodyear Playhouse is produced by Showcase Productions, Incorporated.